Today we are going to analyze specific stocks in the stock market to try to find imbalances between the buyers and sellers. If we can find an imbalance on the buyer side, we can use that to our advantage and join in. And if we find an imbalance on the seller side, we can also join in and short. Let's start with Tesla. Tesla is up $5.18, that's 2.92%, closed at 182.47. Tesla has been into a downward channel, so sellers were pushing the price down. They have been pushing the price down. Since July of last year, the price of Tesla has been decreasing at a steady rate. We see that rate right here. I am looking at the stock chart, the historical stock chart. This is free information. You can use TradingView. I have a link in my description. This is what the stock price was trending at. It was coming down. It was trending down. But look at what happened today. We have a step change right here. We had the step change also here in December. We crossed the line. We have crossed that line. So this was a step change. But in this case, we did not break a corresponding horizontal resistance and the stock continued down. So we have the first step right here. We have the cross of the downward resistance. This is how this line is called. We have a, of a downward resistance. We have the cross right here today. Now we are going to check if we are also going to have a break of the horizontal resistance. So the horizontal resistance that we need to check right here is at 194.35. So we could be in a position to buy Tesla because we could be having an imbalance between the buyers and sellers. Right now, we can qualify this as a small imbalance, but the real imbalance is going to come if we are going to break 194.35. If we don't break that number, it just means that Tesla is continuing to zigzag. We have been zigzagging horizontally since January of this year. It's almost six months of zigzagging. So we don't want to buy a stock that is merely zigzagging. And we surely don't want to buy a stock that is coming down. So right now we can say today that Tesla is it's no longer going down, but it could be cut going sideways, which is what we don't want to do. So we won't buy right now. We won't buy right now. If you want to buy, you can buy. But we could be coming down very soon. So why do we have this break right here today? Tesla is holding as we speak. It's 2024 annual stockholder meeting. So people are having some expectations. This is why we see this move up. Based on what is being said during that meeting, we are going to see if Elon's compensation package is going to be approved or not. If it's not approved, Elon has mentioned that he could consider developing the Optimus Prime as a separate company outside of Tesla. If it is approved, I think it could really send the stock super high. This is conjecture. This is a projection. I don't know. We still need to break 194.35. We are going to see tomorrow. Look at Tesla stock tomorrow morning. If it is higher than 194.35, I think we have a decent case to conclude that the buyers are overpowering the sellers. And I think this is going to happen for a long time. So I would personally buy this is the channel that we would be in if we can break this horizontal resistance at 184.35. So it means that we could go short term, we could go as high as 2020, and then we should be going like this. It would be a nice trade from 194 to 220. Let's take a look at our other stocks first. Let's take a look at the VIX. So when VIX is coming down, the stock market is supposed to go up. It's coming down, we are happy. In terms of the government bonds, the bonds are also coming down, so this should be helping the stock market. Let's take a look at our stock indices. Let's start with Dow Jones. So Dow Jones going sideways, so there's an equilibrium, a balance between the buyers and sellers here. So basically, this is noise. You can buy at the bottom and sell at the top if you want to make a little bit of money. The big money is going to be made if we break 39896. If we break this horizontal resistance at the top, this is where you can buy for good. And if we go lower than 37.787, then uh, this would be a short. S&P 500, uh, this one is already bullish. It was going sideways and we had a break right here, a little bit of a retest, and then it's continuing. 
Let's take a look at Apple. Look at this Apple. So we had a horizontal resistance at 198.35. This is where the sellers were. You know, we called the buy signal right here, May 15. The buy signal was right here. We have retested and look at this, boom. Because of the WWDC, we see that Apple is into AI right now. This is going to happen this fall when we are going to get an upgrade of uh, iOS. Then, you know, this is seen as a positive note. The stock is launching. The stock, Apple is resuming into its bullish channel right here. We could be expecting Apple to reach this side right here. So we could be talking anywhere from 244 to 250 something, depending on how fast we are going to reach this. Amazon doing nothing for now. This is just going sideways. AMD going sideways. Arm, we have a break of our horizontal resistance at 150. We could never reach higher than 150. Nobody had to pay higher than 150 to get a share. But right now they have to pay above 150. We are at 158. You know, this is a step change in the market. This is an imbalance between the buyers and sellers. You can use this as a buy signal. You should put a stop loss just a little bit below 150.28. So something like 149. So something like 146 or so. Google, this is continuing higher and higher. This is a little bit too late to buy. Microsoft, we have the same type of break. Look at this. We had the congestion zone right here. We had another one at 427 and now we have a break right here. You can consider this a buy signal also. Meta going sideways, not the time to buy. Nvidia, you know, we had the buy right here, May 23rd. May 23rd was the time to buy. Now it's just continuing. This is a little bit late to get in. Palantir, this is just going sideways. SMCI going sideways. SoFi going sideways. Let's take a look at our EV stocks. So BYD is temporarily going sideways, you know, temporarily going sideways. But we are in two bullish channels. So at some point, it should be starting to bounce on this. Lucid, no good. Neo battery material, no good. Neo, no good. Novonix, no good. Xpeng, no good. Rivian, Rivian, you know. See, this is a reason why we have these horizontal resistance. If we don't break them, we don't buy. And that horizontal resistance here is at 1220. We could not break 1220. If it does not break 1220, we don't buy. And, and this is exactly what happened. It tried to go, could not do it. So let's just wait until, let's just wait until it breaks it. Then it is the time to buy. Nouveau Mont Graphite going sideways. Bitcoin cannot break 71,673. It's not time to buy back again or to accumulate. XRP losing. This is not the time to buy. Physical gold going sideways. Uh, physical silver outside of its bullish channel. So this is definitely not the time to buy. So we'll see tomorrow morning what is happening in the market. We have a move right here. We have a move, but we don't know more about the move. Check 194.35 tomorrow morning. If it's higher, you can buy. If it's not higher, don't touch it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my TradingView affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.